We are at the lake today. We got a special, uh, special little episode. I'm here with my buddy Scott. We're about, what to, up? about to take a little dive here in this lake. Usually, really, really busy at this area right here. There's party boats that line up all along the shore, and we're hoping to be able to find some cool stuff. Maybe some GoPro, cell phones, sunglasses. Well, that would be interesting, but I'm hoping that we don't find a body. <laughs> but uh, it should be fun, you guys. So if we find anything that can be returned back to its owner, I will do that. So make sure to keep on watching to the very end of the video. I'm excited to get in the water. What are, what are you hoping to find today? There are gold ingots that are said to be laying 70 feet down right there off that edge. BS. Spanish gold. <laughs> in this random Texas lake. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm excited to find some golden ingots or cell phones, whatever we find. But let's get in the water and see what we can find, guys. Here I'd we be go. happy with an iPhone. Same here. Uh, let's do it. portion of the dive is over. Scott said that there's, uh, he'll, he'll come here during like a busy weekend and there will be just boats lined up all the way over here and it's pretty shallow so let's jump in and see if we can find some stuff with no scuba gear, just my snorkel and mask. Yeah, yeah. All right, 
right guys, we are done with the dive. I was not expecting to have so many finds after the scuba dive. We got a good the amount shallows. of Yeah, we got a good amount of stuff in the deep spot over here. And then we got a good amount of stuff in the shallow spots over here too. So let's take a look at what we got. So we got a lot of cool stuff today. I'm not gonna lie, most of it, I'm gonna say, what do you think, like 90, 92% were sunglasses. Yep, not yep. a big surprise there, but we did find some cool sunglasses. Let's take a look. I did find a pair of Ray-Bans, check that out. Uh -huh. And I think they're real, but it has all the like, uh, all the signs of uh, authentic glasses. So I'm proud of those. I remember I used to call these Quay, and then I had a bunch of people in the comments, thank you guys say that it's pronounced key and these are actually cool these are the same brand that i'm wearing right now check that out they're in pretty good shape too i might i might try these on let's see oh they're red oh guys. man i don't know if i can handle the red oh the red yeah they're like a red tint lots and lots of sunglasses though check that out that is a big pile of sunglasses big. i did find this earring um obviously it's not real because look how rusted out that is the mardi gras beads a little bracelet Scott found this fireball Mardi Gras. <laughs> yeah. Check that out. My best find of the day was something that's totally unique and I'm, I'm not sure how it would end up at the bottom of the lake, but it is this hotel room key. It's at the Crown Plaza. And I think you know where the local Crown Plaza is, right? We can go crash it and jump in the pool and then- It resort. still works. It says hotel and resorts. So I'm, I'm assuming there's a nice pool out there with maybe come some water slide. Yeah, this is so my us. find of the day. These are uh, some polarized Ray-Bans. Yeah, and, uh, hey, t put them on, man. I want to see those. They are a gift to me from Lake Travis, and I intend <laughs> on keeping them. <laughs> so you don't need these anymore, right? Oh, yeah, you know, I think I'm going to keep those, too. <laughs> yeah, apparently it's Mardi Gras right now. In July, I found that bracelet uh, right here. Pulled out some cans. We'll be recycling those. And uh, it was just a fun dive. I think my favorite part was getting down to, like, 80 feet, and we, we got beneath the silt layer and all of a sudden just opened up super clear water. That was sweet. Didn't find anything we can return today, but it still was an awesome dive. And thank you, Scott, for coming with me. That was super fun, dude. It's been great, man. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up down below. That always helps me out and I do appreciate that. And make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and then we will see you on the next video, you guys. Peace. All right, guys, we're headed back to shore right now. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know, um, Scott is actually a really, really talented photographer, and he actually specializes in underwater photography, Underwater, right? that is correct. So he's also a local real estate photographer, and so I'm gonna put his website to that and his Instagram so you guys can see some beautiful shots that he gets underwater, and those things are awesome. Even if you're not interested in like, using his services, just check out his Instagram. I'll put it below. Uh, most of my work, it's gonna be in Texas or around Texas. Guys, make sure to go check out Scott's website and his Instagram. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.